Welcome in to another edition of Rick and Bubba University, the podcast. Uh, and Bubba, as you you know, people may not know if you're new to our podcast, hey, we can get into some really deep topics. And yes. We can unpack a lot of stuff, and, and we certainly enjoy doing that. But I think this week it's, it's a great time for a break uh, and maybe a time for us to hear a beautiful love story. And uh, this Who is, doesn't love a beautiful love we story? We all right? do. <laughs> so we're going to continue with a another series that we have. We've had Bubba, your wife Betty, mm-hmm. uh, Lou on the show. Uh, my wife Sherry has been on the show, and we're gonna, you know, try our best to get as many of the, you know, wives of the Rick and Bubba members on the show as possible. And because today, people tell us they yeah, want to yeah. hear from them. Right now, every time we give one of the wives the live mic, we never know how it's going to go. Uh, I notice that Speedy, instead of leaving the office, is still here because <laughs> we're going to talk to his wife. Terry Wilburn. Terry, welcome to Rick and Bubba University. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, have you? I want to ask you this. Have you thought about what you can get Speedy for Father's Day yet? Yeah, I have. Have you thought about Tommy John's underwear? I don't want to get personal. <laughs> but uh, Father's Day can be stressful. Trying, you know, trying to find something for a dad can just be a mess. But, but Tommy John, uh, the revolutionary underwear and clothing brand, knows that comfort is for everyone and that includes even your dad. Sometimes you don't like to think about your dad and his underwear, but I, I will tell you but this. he needs them. And, and you know what? Nobody seems to care before Tommy John about whether men were comfortable in their underwear or not. Uh, we love the Tommy John underwear. We wear them. New and improved men's underwear is now twice as durable as uh, maybe the pair. Maybe you got dad summer, get someone's own. Did you know the new ones are even more durable than the ones that he already he may have? Uh, and also, they're, they're much more luxurious. Uh, that's guaranteed. Plus, Tommy John's offering their best Father's Day deal ever. How about this? On the store right now, 25% off site-wide. So, Terry, you being Speedy's wife, mm-hmm. I know that you've probably been – he likes to save money. I don't know if you've noticed that. <laughs> uh, this includes easy-to-give gift sets mm-hmm. that you can order straight from your phone directly to Dad's door. And, again, we love these. They're so comfortable. Men do care if their underwear is comfortable. So why don't you do this right now? Uh, deliver it right to your Dad's door if you're not going to be able to see him this Father's Day. TommyJohn.com slash Rick Bubba. Just put Rick Bubba together. No and in between. Just Rick Bubba. That's TommyJohn.com slash Rick Bubba. That gets you 25% off site wide. See the site for all the details and all the dads on your Father's Day list. We'll thank you for it. So Terry, here we are. Uh, you're, you're welcome, on, Terry. You're, you're on Rick and Bubba <laughs> University, so we we have to. And Bubba, you may have specific questions, but I always like to go back. I, I like to go back to how this love story began, and to, to go back to how you met Speedy, your husband, and then we'll get into what it's been like for twenty years mm-hmm. for you guys to be married. So so tell us tell us how you two and remember tell the truth you're because right. people will call the show Monday if you don't right. <laughs> We, um, we, I moved here from Georgia mm-hmm. and, um, met, you know, met new friends and, um, and so one of those friends dated, I call him Calvin. That's fine. Go right ahead. Speedy. For this show, for this show, say Calvin. It Calvin matter. Speedy. Yeah. Yeah, that's and, fine. um, she dated his roommate in college. And so she, we were just out, you know, one night and, um, they were talking. And so, you know how, like when you're introduced to somebody, like you're, in a, I was introduced to him as Calvin because that's how she knew him, and so that's what I call him as Calvin because that's how we we met. And so it's hard for me to call him Speedy because I'm like, oh, yeah, he, well, his na- his he name. doesn't look like a Speedy. You're right, He's, his name is Calvin, and <laughs> is, you're his yeah. wife, so mm-hmm. yeah, that's yeah. appropriate. I, so, but we we they inter- um she introduced us and and should 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 I tell the truth. <laughs> well, the Rick and Bubba University, we're always after the truth. Now, here's what I want us to understand. <laughs> all of us on this show are in a progress of sanctification, mm-hmm. and we, we all, you know, have got a story, and, you know, it, it, we're, all, we're all more grown up now than we used yes, to be. Yes, most definitely. Uh, we all are much stronger in our faith than maybe we once mm-hmm. were, and, uh, you know, maybe in our younger days uh, where, you know, it, things, things places maybe we don't go anymore. Yeah. And, and yeah. so you guys met each other just kind of – out on the town, we did. We were out yeah. on the town, okay. and and it was, there's nothing bad. No, it's just I don't mean that. Because yeah. that was 20, 21, 22 years ago. So we were completely different people then. Thank the good Lord. Amen. And um, but we were we the first night we met, we just kind of met in passing. Yeah. And um, and then, <laughs> then like the next time we saw each other, it was <laughs> 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 it was so funny. <laughs> But it's gonna be fun. We'd love to hear it so we can we, laugh too. We were out, and 
He kept following me around. <laughs> well, well, no, no, that's that's me. No, there's nothing wrong with that. You and, pursue a woman that you're interested in. And all and, three of our stories have been teaching men how to pursue women. Go ahead. Yeah, and so <laughs> one time I came out of the bathroom and he was standing there, and I was like, well, "That's a little weird." So <gasps> I went up to my friend Highland and I said, "He's like, is he okay? Like, he's not dangerous or anything, <laughs> is he?" <laughs> Oh, this is more than I'd hope for. Oh. He's not dangerous, is Cause he? Because I'm like, he was, I didn't, you know, I didn't know him. And, right. and so she was like, oh, yeah, he's fine. I promise he's fine. And so I was like, okay. And so then it was like several weeks later, I walk in and, and it's, he just grabs me. And he was like, oh, my gosh, I've been looking for you. Where have you been? And I was like, <laughs> he's like, oh, my gosh. And, I, and it was just, I don't know what it was in that moment. Right. But it was just like, I don't know. It was just like sparks flew, and it was wow. So it was almost like you wouldn't say love at first sight because at yeah. first you thought he was a stalker. Yeah, but, it but was it, love at first grab. Yeah, you're it right. Was, but there was something in that moment. Honestly, you said was. there was a connection. Yeah, because he just grabbed me and he was like, "I've been looking for you. Where have you been?" And I was just like, "Oh, you know, I don't know." And like literally that night, we just talked the whole night. I mean, I think it was till like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And so um, I I gave him my number and he gave me his number. I still have the piece of paper that he wrote his number down on. How about that? And of course he doesn't. But anyway, yeah. but that's OK. Um, <laughs> well, that, you know, that's the dynamic between the husband, yes. the husband and the wife. So, We're so excited that it worked out. We didn't keep every fragment. Oh, no, yeah. Because yeah. we can't believe it actually happened. <laughs> And, uh, you well, know, he couldn't either because yeah. before, because that was before cell phones, and so. Wow, think about that. I know. Can you believe that was like right before cell phones? So he he gave me his number. I gave him my number, and I get back to my apartment. And as soon as I walk in, the phone rings, and I was like, you know, hello. It was like it was him. He said, "I just wanted to make sure you gave me the right number." <laughs> that, that's smart. <laughs> Need verification, right? Yeah, no, that was smart. That was smart. So, but it was. It was just from that moment. Um, I think we were pretty much inseparable from then, and and um, so, but. And you guys just, I mean, and 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 I know that that Speedy, is, is, as far as you know, like on the show, and you know, you get into this world. When did you start realizing? Oh no, my relationship with this man that I've just met is now about to be fodder. And about to be launched Broadcast. out into uh, launched out into the public arena. Well, okay, so at the time I did nails, and um, I was a nail tech at, and so you know it's just a shop full of women, and it's yeah. so funny because before I met right, like before I met him, um, I I would I, of course the other women they were a little, just several a couple of years older than me so they would get started like seven in the morning I was young I would get started at nine and so <laughs> right. I would come in and they would have the Rick and Bubba show on the radio in the in the um, salon and good pick I, I would yeah. sneak back there and change it because <laughs> <laughs> you knew there was about to be a new topic didn't you? Well, no, this was before I case. met him. Oh, before oh. you? This was oh, before I met him. Terry Wilburn. <laughs> Terry Wilburn. <laughs> It was country, and I was because y'all were on yeah. the country station, right? Uh, like before then, I think it was uh, AC I, at the time. Yeah, maybe, yeah. but we, you probably just heard us talking and assumed it was country, right? Yeah, what so I would sneak country? back and change the station. So when I when I found out, Terry Wilburn, I know. So when he told me that's what he did, I felt so bad, and so <laughs> um, so it it hit me when. He, he apparently he must have been talking about it on the show and one of the ladies that I was doing her nails and she said let me let me let me ask you something are you the Terry that Speedy's been talking about and I was like uh I was like what like because mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't listen I didn't but you weren't know. familiar with the dynamic, yeah. dynamic of the show and she said well he's been talking about this girl and on the show named Terry and I just was wondering if it was you and I was like oh well, might be, uh, might be, because so I didn't know what to say. You didn't know whether to commit or not. Yeah. Because, you know, on the other end of the spectrum, and Bubba, you can wait on this, we thought Speedy was making you up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, for a lot, and I was going to get into that. Yeah, because, yeah. because, see, because yeah. I think this is the timeline that we should talk about. That it was, because, yeah. Because we we felt like Speedy wanted to just get us off his back. <laughs> so Because we give him a hard time that he needed to settle down. He mm -hmm. needed to, you know, start thinking about finding the right woman. 
And so, and he was going through that phase of his life like everybody yeah, does. Yeah, they date a lot of people. Yeah, you yeah. look. You, you haven't found the one yet. And we kept getting on him that he needed to, and so we thought he was just trying to get us right. off off of him. We thought he was making you up for a long time. Yeah, remember yeah. you were called Jane, Jane Glass. Jane Glass yeah. from the Brady Bunch, uh, mm-hmm. whatever. Glass. Jan had a boyfriend, had a boyfriend named something, something, something Glass. glass. Mm-hmm. And so we, since you were female, we said Jane Glass, and we honestly didn't know if you were real or not. Uh, and, and I want to say the first time, didn't you come to the studio in a gorilla outfit? Or that I, was later? It was, it was early on in our relationship. It was. Yes. I had a gorilla suit. I think I had, I think I had like pink panties on it or something. Uh, well, yeah. I, it was for Valentine's. You mean on the gorilla suit? On the gorilla. Yes. Yeah. Okay. On the gorilla yeah, I, suit. I started to say, we, <laughs> Terry, we really couldn't see through the gorilla suit. Right? Not the gorilla no, suit. Yeah. Yeah. Rick and Bubba University, we go to get the real story. <laughs> That's the right. real story. No, you're right. So you came up here. I and did. You, you right down to the skivvies. Yeah. But yeah. you're right. Right, Bubba, now that I'm thinking, was that the day that we got proof that you were real? I'm trying to think. I don't Because no. Speedy didn't know who you were, and he kept say, he kept looking at your eyes going, Terry, Terry, is that mm-hmm. you? And yeah. you wouldn't say anything. No, yeah, I was trying to, like, I was trying to be. I can't remember. That, I don't think that was the first yeah, time. Yeah, it was somewhere in that time. But, you yeah, know, but we finally got confirmation. Do you remember, Speedy, how we confirmed? Yeah, uh, I, I want to say it's when I, I took her home to introduce her to, to, to my parents. And then we came back, and then there was some type of introduction. But I can't remember the yeah. exact layout. Because I want to say there was even – Speedy kept telling us he had a girlfriend. And I want to say there was a softball game that you were supposed to come to. And, you know, we were like, well, we're finally going to get to meet the mm-hmm. mysterious Terry. And you wasn't able to come or something. Or something happened, and yeah. we are like, oh, Speedy's it, really – There really, were several times that we were – I was. It was supposed to work out, yeah. and it didn't work out. So and that made us think he was making you. Yeah. 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 So I mean, it was full fledged. We thought Speedy was absolutely making. I still you have out. the the. Is it the softball jersey? Uh-huh. Yeah. I have a softball jersey. It says Jane Glass on the back of it. <laughs> I, did, I didn't yeah. know we went that far. Yeah. 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 We did. We, we did. We'd yeah. go somewhere with the story. We did. We? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you remember a lot Speedy? Of time to feel. Yeah. What she just recounted about when you saw her, when you were just like that. That's that's the one. Well, I I. I I don't remember every detail like she did. I guess there was a, a just a touch it of stalking. It just stalk. meant more to me than yeah. No, that, it was just a touch. By the way, of, you walked you walked right into that. One. <laughs> there was a touch of stalking, I think, on my on my part. Um, but and, and I'm not just saying this, but I was like, well, she's out of my league. There's no way. Look, I mean, she's so beautiful. There's no way. And then then when it worked out, I was like, I can't believe this. This is awesome. You know. Now, uh, do you so, remember the moment when you said, "I've been looking for you"? Because that uh-huh. was a big moment for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I said something to the effect, something cheesy, like, "You're gonna, you know, need knee pads. You're gonna fall so hard for me," or something weird. Yeah, yeah I remember. Like there was legend I, I of him remember, saying that. Yeah. He, yes. Did he actually say that? No. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> did yes. Standing Look, right outside the bathroom. You're thinking. You're, think, you're thinking yourself right now. Oh wow. I forgot that. that, that <laughs> probably, you probably thought. Well, I've noticed a, a theme, and now you're confirming three in a row. Betty, Sherry, and now you, all three had a reaction early on and had to work out the issue. Is there something wrong with them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I mean, I mean right. you know, it, it's like, wow, they're, they're. Well, we still have that reaction going on. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I fight it every day. So when, when did you think, okay, I think this is, this is headed to possible marriage? Do you remember that process when you start thinking this is the guy? Um, I do. It was, and I think it was that night. That night when oh we were just like I said, we talked for hours, and I told him, I said, you know, I said, do you realize that you know I have a sign? And right. he said, oh, I know that. He said, I've already been like asking about you oh, i did my because, homework yeah you did because it, i mean and we're about to all get emotional okay at right, the time, <laughs> because at that time i mean he was tyler was my priority he was right. my number one so how old was tyler then he had he this was in february and tyler had turned two in november so yeah, he was I, right that's at what two I thought. And, that's what i thought so i just because that was my first thing and and this is like i think that was like in the beginning of the conversation because i was like i'm not going any further if you're not okay with that because you know, which is wisdom. He's my life. And I mean, at the time he was, I mean, and so he was like, Oh, I know. I already know. And I was like, and that was another thing. I was like, Oh wow. So, and then our first date was Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> it was. It was the yeah. Chuck E. Cheese taking Tyler Chuck E. Well, Cheese. Well, I was about to say, you might as well go ahead yeah. and say this is this yeah. is how this is just what it's yeah. going to be like. Mm-hmm. Because there is something, Sherry had the same situation with me, mm-hmm. where you're someone who's who doesn't have children, mm-hmm. 
and you're about to enter into a marriage, and unlike people that enter into a marriage where neither, neither person has children, it does. T- it's a different element for a person yes. to say, I know the day that I marry you, like I said, Sherry had the same situation, I now am a parent. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not going to spend any time of this marriage not being a parent. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you're right, that's a different dynamic. But but if it's done right, it can be quite beautiful. It is, and, and I don't. I don't want to get emotional, but he, um, because, you know, I just, if I wasn't at work, I was with Tyler. I mean, cause he just, you know, at the time he was my, cause he's still, I call him my sunshine because he was my sunshine in that time in my life. And, um, and so I knew when <laughs> I knew, cause I would, I would be at work and cause, you know, Calvin had that must that convertible Mustang. Oh, yeah. I remember he would, Mustang. He, player, player. But he would pull up with the top down and the little car seat in the back seat with Tyler. <laughs> with his <laughs> shades on. Just, I mean, he would just go pick up yeah. Tyler from daycare, and they would just spend the afternoon together. And, um, you know, and I kid him when he proposed to me. I was like, the only reason you're marrying me is because you love Tyler so much. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's good. At one point, you're yeah. like, okay, it's it's not about me anymore. Not only are you okay with Tyler, I think you prefer Tyler. Yes. <laughs> I was you're like, right. you realize I come with, I come with him. You know? right. You're now marrying and trying to trying to have Tyler. But, yes. Yeah. But, so, yeah. but I, and and it, it just, I mean, it because I never imagined because I just. It was funny because I, I said I would never get married and never have any more kids. I just had kind of was like, it's, you know, that I'm not getting married. I'm never having kids. I'm just going to, de- you know, kind of de- raise, my, raise my son, you know, be right. devoted to Tyler. And so, but God truly, truly had other plans. And I, and I'm so grateful for that because I just, um, he's just been, I don't want to get emotional, but like I, I never thought that anybody would love Tyler as much as I did. Right. And 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 he truly does. He loves Tyler, you know, as much as I do unconditionally. And um, so that that has been such a huge, huge blessing. Um, and in fact, when when I got pregnant with JC, I cried because I thought, oh my gosh, like, can we love another child as much as we love Tyler? But it's amazing how God just yeah. grows your heart mm-hmm. and just with, gives you more to work I know, with. Mm-hmm. It's so amazing. It, it just is. It just is awesome. But but yeah. So I think I think seeing him in that role and just the way that he um, was just so caring and and loving, and I just knew. So, but I was surprised the day that he proposed I was not ready. Oh, really? No. no so how did that, yeah, how did that Tell go us down? about that. Mm. I wasn't prepared for that because um, we were just, I don't know, it was just another day. We were just going, I think, going to get food or something. And and um, he he we went back to the place where we met. And, and I was like. The bathroom oh. door? <laughs> well, the place with oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and so and he just as so i was i was so shocked and when he when he proposed and i was like i'm absolutely yeah so no doubt you were no yeah, doubt, you yeah. knew it long before that you no were doubt. asked mm-hmm. yeah did uh so when did you know i'm gonna ask this woman to marry me uh the second i met her no i'm kidding um well, what, it was it was probably around it was quick probably what would you think about five months in four to four or five months i knew yeah mm-hmm. i just knew yeah. yeah, you know, and it's weird because my dad always told me that. Hey, son, you'll know. And it's just weird in life when you have those markers where you just know. Mm-hmm. And 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 she was definitely that that top marker for me when I just knew. Hey, she's the one. And and obviously, you know, the proof is always in actually what happens. Uh, watching Speedy and Bubba and I both feel this way. Watching him be a husband and a dad all at the same time was incredible. I mean, you talk about somebody that immediately took on the responsibilities of husband and dad mm-hmm. was really something to watch. Uh, you know, I don't have to tell you that, but yeah. but know that all of us on the outside watching that too, it's like, man, you talk about somebody who 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 took on that role and it and it seemed like they had been preparing for it their yeah. whole life. When really, honestly, when you when when I was hanging out with Speedy, the single guy. 
I never thought he was even remotely thinking about being somebody's dad. <laughs> you know, it was, it was just, the you, farthest thing you know, I mean, I could see him pursuing the right woman, sure. Mm-hmm. But was he the kind of guy, though, that could marry a woman and then who also has a child? Yeah. Did he have that in him? And boy, mm-hmm. he, he he has done that. Well, I thought he yeah. did. I mean, yeah, he yeah. Smitty does everything wide open. He really does. <laughs> and, yes. and I've always said that. I mean, you throw him the ball, he's going to run. No, you he know, is. You ain't got to worry about There's it. There's no doubt about it. But uh, but that was something for all of us to watch that was as beautiful as uh, as you experiencing it. So uh, we'll we'll pick up more of that and talk about uh, some the, the rest of you know wading into the world of Rick and Bubba now mm-hmm. with your family. Uh, but I do want to hit uh, this. We've got some emails that we've already gotten about, you know, Gabby.com. Uh, let me tell you, Gabby.com slash Rick Bubba, if you're wondering, and, and we know Speedy really well, he's going to find out if you're paying too much for something. Mm-hmm. And and so it, it, and he – do you know now this is something, first of all, you know, like you know, Speedy talks about he fell in love with you first mm-hmm. sight. <laughs> Gabby had him on the word free. This does not cost anything to use. And, and you go to, to Gabby.com and then do slash Rick Bubba. Let me tell you what Gabby does. They'll they'll get a little bit of information from you. It takes about two minutes about your car insurance and your homeowners. Then they will give you 40 different options from all the biggest names in insurance, progressive, nationwide, travelers, farmers. They're all there. And then you look and you say, am I paying too much for my car insurance for the exact same coverage somewhere else? Am I paying too much for my homeowner's insurance with the exact same coverage with somebody else? And, Bubba, I showed you these two emails. Listen to this one right here. Uh, hey, I heard you guys talking about Gabby.com slash Rick, Rick Bubba. I checked on my car insurance, and when I went to Gabby.com and put in my information, I'm now saving $183 a month on the same coverage. I mean, that's a savings of $183 a month. Somebody else, I did the same thing. Heard you guys talking about Gabby.com slash Rick Bubba. Went to check on uh, my auto insurance. It was time for renewal. I'm now saving over $400 a year. Thank you guys for pointing us to Gabby.com slash Rick Bubba. You can do it now. It doesn't cost you anything, and they won't sell your in, uh, your information to anyone, so don't worry about that. G-A-B-I.com slash Rick Bubba, and you may find out that your rate is the best, which also brings you peace of mind. All right, so now you guys are married. Terry Wilburn is our guest on Rick and Bubba University. Terry, have you ever have you ever got mad at Speedy because of something he said on the show? I don't think so. Have you ever had the did Did you say on the show today? <laughs> did fill, you? fill in the blank because <laughs> uh, somebody no, said yes. something to you while you were out or whatever. Yes, I've had several moments of hey, um, somebody called me or texted me and said. This y'all were talking about this, and but you know what's funny is I can tell when he's maybe talked about something he wasn't sure about because he'll come home and he'll be, hey, how was your day? Oh, do, did you hear the show today? I just was wondering, did you hear the show today? And I'm like, mm. I'm like, yeah, he must have talked about something. Right. <laughs> but no, I don't think there's ever been anything that was just kind of like I can't believe you, you know said that um i think the funniest was when we were taking the pregnancy test and i was like i can't believe you're putting that like on the on the radio when you yeah, did that's, that, that's the was best it? of them i think was it jc we did that it was one? jc I think yeah. it was, was it the drano what was it i, I can't remember I can't but remember it's, it's a best of them we actually took the test live oh, on i the remember show. that i forgot yeah. all about that like, she's I, like are you serious are you kidding me yes. did you know how we test for this what are you doing <laughs> like i don't want to do that on the radio but, <laughs> yeah yeah but other than that i don't really think there was anything um have you ever said to him, because I can tell you, I've had this conversation before, where my wife looked at me and said, this is yes. all fair. Yes. You, yes. You, you, yeah. And there's sometimes he's like, are you sure? Yeah, and I'm like, no, I'm, I'm very serious. This does not go to the radio. It's not, this is not a bit for the show. <laughs> right, right. Of course, well, you know what we're thinking about? We got five hours. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're thinking about, well, boy, this is good and this yeah. is really That's good. That's right. That's my, right. Sherry has learned that if she, fi- she if there's a little bit of silence from me, she says, you're putting together the presentation of this on the show, aren't you? <laughs> and I'm like, I really am and I need a green light on this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and sometimes she, and, and then she's learned sometimes like you, you to just, say, hey, that you're going to talk about this on the show, aren't you? yeah. And you've, you've already just surrendered. You got the flag out. Yeah, there's things happening. <laughs> yes, I just you just kind of go. It's just a bit for the show because, like, the kids will tell the kids, "Yeah, this is this will be on air, so just be ready. <laughs> just stand by. Yeah. Just, just be ready for it." So, have you have you had some time with Speedy? You know, we can kid him about being cheap. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and and he says he's frugal. 
And I said, there's a fine line mm-hmm. between frugal and, and cheap. Uh, and he doesn't, and I and I mess with him about it. But have you? He 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 is. He will pinch a, a dime, which is good. I mean, that's responsible. Do you yeah. do you run into that like we do? No, I really don't. Mm-hmm. In fact, he, gosh, he'll go out and s- drop money on sports stuff, and I'm like, it. we don't need that. We have five in the garage. Mm-hmm. You know. Like Thanks, Rick. yesterday. That's on me. That that's that. I know that. Oopa we, oopa. I know that all husbands, <laughs> if we were honest, we we're really frugal over over in the wife family area. Yeah. And then when it comes to our hobbies or something that yeah. we need to do for sports for our for our kids, it's suddenly, like suddenly nobody recognizes. Yeah. There's suddenly like, we've we've just won some kind of lottery. Well, you have yes, to. Exactly. So it's Rick. not just him. No, it's Rick. I mean, you have to save in one area to spend uh, in another. Yeah, and that's what he does. That's yes. It. He saves in, well, I don't know, because, like, um, well, like grocery shopping. Mm-hmm. Like, he he's, um, over the past couple of years, he's gotten more into the grocery shopping, and he'll, he'll be like, we don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that. Mm-hmm. But then, like, go to, you know, Romeo's or somewhere and just be like, I need that, that, and that. Yeah. And it's I'm a sporting like, goods store, y'all. Yeah, it's a sporting goods store. And, 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 I've, and I've, all I've, three of Speedy's sons, y'all sons play uh, baseball yes. yeah. uh, at, at, the, at that, you know, the high level, and you need the best equipment. I yeah. mean, yeah. But I've, I've yeah. trained my boys, I think, I, I feel bad because, like, we'll make a purchase and – all right, so we don't tell mom about this, right? And I'm like, oh. I'm like, no, we don't have secrets in the family. Yeah, I'll but tell. Let's I'll not tell talk her. about. It. Yeah, that's what he says. But I, I'll tell her. And then he never does. And they show up with new bats and gloves, and I'm like, <laughs> Well, we have a we have an agreement going in. Don't ask, don't tell. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If we're so asked if you a direct agreed question ahead of time, yeah. then it's okay. It, yeah, if we're asked a direct question, we're not going to be dishonest. Mm-hmm. You know, it, we have an awkward one that works <laughs> with us sometimes because of the show, and y'all may have it. I know you do because we've done it. We'll be at the farm, and suddenly there'll be a new shooting house or ladder stand or something. And Sherry goes, "I'm going to just keep thinking, and if you don't want to say anything, you don't have to. That somebody gave you that, <laughs> and I just keep riding." Yeah, you yeah. know. So because we do get gifts a lot of times with yeah, the show. Do. Sometimes yes. people give yeah. you things, uh-huh. and and we're thankful for that. And yeah. so we can try a product out here or there. <laughs> So well, what, we, what we've agreed to at our house is I want there to be a real gray area on things that I was given as, as an endorser of product <laughs> yeah. and things that I spent money on. And may you never know which ones are which. Right. Well, you know, <laughs> Rick, yes, we have that. There's some budgets I'm in charge of and there's some budgets Betty's in charge of. Mm-hmm. And, right. I, you know, I, don't, I want her to have freedom inside her budget. And I want to have right. freedom inside mine. Right. Yeah. yeah that, and that's it. So yeah. don't ask, don't tell. Right. right. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's the I way. borrowed that, but yeah. it's something yeah. else. So let me ask you about life as the only female hmm. in the house. So it, it has been one son after another, and then they're speedy. Yes. And uh, do you, where do you find mom time? Uh, or do you just, are you just one of the guys? You I, well, I'm just one of the guys. I mean, we just, I just kind of get right in there with them and just like, I just try to hang on because they're, you know, they're boys, they're nonstop. And, but I do, I mean, my mom time is the grocery store, right. you know, or right. Right. when I'm doing laundry and I'm in the laundry room. But it's but it um it's good. I mean, because I don't know, we we just are, we just are always together, and like we, you know, I don't know, we just like love, like we'll just always be together doing stuff. And so sometimes when I feel like I want to go do mom stuff, sometimes I feel like, well, I'd rather just be with them, and, yeah. You know, I'd rather just be home and be with them and like what are they doing and um but like you said i got tickled at you saying they're older now and you know they really don't don't yeah there's that moment you have to go they don't want to they don't want to come yeah. hang out with me i know and mm-hmm. you know what the, the, what we where we have to get better about that as parents and this is me now talking to you as if you're sherry because mm-hmm. uh, i've had this conversation <laughs> if we raise them up in the way that we are called to we are raising them up to go mm-hmm. not to stay yeah and uh, so the fact that they are wanting to stand on their own two feet and, and, and have their own life, yeah. that's actually a good thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, as I told Cherry when she said, it's just so sad this bed is empty. And I'm like, no. What would be sad <laughs> is if it still had that kid in it mm-hmm. because he's 21. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it's good that there's something going on. But it can get a little locker room in the house, though. Yeah. And I have yes. to tell the boys that uh-huh. because yes. I'm like, hey, your mom's right there. You right. know. Right. Um, well, yeah, they, that and – you know, when you can't see the dining room table and I'm like, like this weekend, I was like, that's it. I, I'm, this is what we're doing. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody's going anywhere. 
until all of this sporting equipment and clothes and shoes and stuff is put where it belongs. Like, I can't even see the dining room. And, of course, Calvin goes, I don't see a problem. I'm like, (laughs) you, like, can't even, like, you really cannot see the dining room table. There's bags. There's everything. And. So, I'll but we we we're, we're, we raise on each other as a family a yeah. lot, like oh in my here. Gosh, yes. And I've noticed something from her that, like, if they attack me or they're all on top of me, she just laughs. You don't. Know and I'm like, what are you doing? No. You, no. Do you does. remember how hard you laugh and Speedy fell out here and hurt herself? That was so funny. Yeah, well, you were on the show that day. What were you doing on the show that day? Oh, I was um, next door at the hair salon. That's right. And we brought yeah. you over here to watch yeah. it. And I've never seen her laugh, Speedy, at your expense. It, I mean, how about you like t- for Speedy to, so for Calvin funny. to be the butt of the joke, don't yes. you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, do, do you remember how many times we had to watch it over and over? Oh, Betty's the same way. If you fall, if you're oh, physically gosh. injured, she thinks that's the funniest it thing ever. It is so funny. Yes, that's a, yes I get tickled because the, they'll get the the boys will get on him and I just get so tickled and and he's like I why do you think that's so funny I'm like it's hilarious like last night I wish I was I wish I was recording last night because mm. J- JC and Calvin are the exact same person right and, and that's the middle son for those who that's don't know the that. middle yeah that's the middle one and uh, they were trying to pack JC's baseball bag for today. Mm. And JC wanted to take one bag. Calvin thought he needed to take this other bag. And I was just doing dishes, just listening to the whole conversation. <laughs> and it was like Calvin was arguing with himself. It was so <laughs> Same person. funny. It was so funny. And he's like, what do you think is so funny? I was like, because you're the y'all are the same person. Right. And it's so because Calvin's like, I really think you need to take this bag. You're being a rookie if you don't take this bag. And JC's like, but I, I want to take this bag because it has all my stuff in it. And Calvin's like, well, I'm just telling you this bag will be better. So Is that my voice? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's the official voice. Well, there's that's just a lot of wisdom official. over here. I'm 51, and yeah. I'm like, you can't hardly fit anything in this bag. I just know you, and mm. in between games, you're not going to try to put everything. I'm making everything fit because I'm stuffing it in there. You take yeah. the bigger bag. Let me ask you this because this is important. You said he was arguing with himself. Yeah. So which one of the two was the real Calvin? Was he what JC was wanting? Or was JC not listening to really himself and his dad? Which one would be more like Calvin? Which two bag would have been oh the Calvin you know? Well, Calvin would have taken the big bag. Okay, <clears throat> he would have. Well, the real Calvin, please do. Yeah, right, but, <laughs> right. Yeah. But but the the arguments that JC were, were was making was, was a an lot. argument that J, that Calvin would have made I got because you. that's yeah. what JC wanted, and so right. if that's what Calvin would have wanted. He would have argued about it. I got you. And so finally, JC was like, fine. So he starts pulling the stuff out of the little bag, and Calvin goes, what are you doing? JC goes, I'm putting the stuff in the big bag. Well, you don't have to take the big bag if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so then they go back, and JC is like, oh, no, which is typical Calvin. Oh, no, you said I needed to take wait, the big wait, bag. Wait, so. that's, that's what Speedy just said. He does the oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That, that's, I mean, it just went on for like five or ten <laughs> minutes, and I was so tickled because then Calvin was like, "I'm just for the record saying you can take the small bag if you want to take the small bag. You don't have to take the big bag." And got, anyway, it was just went back and forth, and it was just very comical. I guess you had to be there. But. <laughs> what? What? No. no, I understand. No, I'm there. I, I see that happen all the time in a house full of any any kid, male or female, but mainly the males. Mm-hmm. What is? Is there something about Calvin, mm. or we know him as Speedy? That might surprise people based on his persona on the air. Hmm. Any kind of entertainment he might enjoy that we might be surprised. Uh, he 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 got he really during Christmas he really got into the Hallmark Channel. And there it is. Terry, All right, so I saw Terry this. Bubba, Bubba, the reason why I went there. <laughs> Don't laugh, Adler. Is, I see you. In you there. know, and is, is that Terry was walking around and suddenly. We talked about sometimes there are certain things that we don't want known about things that we may, uh, you know, appease our wives to watch, you know, you know, some kind of romantic show or something. And I heard this phrase from Terry to her husband. Oh, no, no. It was you that brought me into the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> what did the swag mom text? The little group mm-hmm. girl text? The little hen text? Maybe? So so you saying that you got in the Hallmark Channel through your husband? Yes, because uh, what, I was, uh, what happened was I had, uh, the Sidewinder moms 
we have a group text. And, and so every Christmas, they are, are like starting in Thanksgiving, Christmas, they are always talk about watching the Hallmark movies. And I'm always like, I've never watched one. I've never gotten into them. So this year I was telling him, I said, all the swag moms are talking about watching the Hallmark movies. And he goes, Hallmark movies? And I said, yeah, they're just like love story Christmas music, movies. I don't know. I was like, I haven't watched one. and But they're all talking about them. So... I, kept, I noticed, like, I would come home, and he'd be watching Hallmark Channel. He'd be know. watching Hallmark movies. When that. you weren't even home. Yeah. I, I so like you're that. not even there? He would be home by himself watching Hallmark movies. I don't movies. know about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so so I would, I mean, of course, I would just come in and sit down and, you know, start watching them. And, um, but, there, but, yeah, he would. I would come home, and he would be watching. And, he'd like, he would be watching one. He'd go, oh, I've already seen this one. And I'm like, I've already seen, I've already this, seen one. this one. Like the whole thing. <laughs> I've, yeah, already I've already seen, seen it. Let's find one I, what I haven't watched yet without yeah. you here. I don't know about this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I, I see. We heard it a different way. Yeah. 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 We, we heard it a different way. Yeah. We heard that you were the lead on the Hallmark Channel. No, I don't even know what channel the Hallmark is. Uh huh. And mm. so the next thing we'll find I out, would... you're not the one that does Pinterest either. <laughs> 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 now that is another thing he is very outspoken on furniture in the house decorations in the house <laughs> rugs in the house he's very very like wait a minute outspoken. he actually weighs in on what he thinks you, oh, it should yeah. be oh yeah so you have a husband unlike our wives mm. that if they won't just say it doesn't matter to me whatever you want no in certain no. areas uh, i'll do that uh, uh, right no. No, oh. no, Bubba. We're here. We're in yeah. this room. I know. Thank you, Rick and Bubba University. <laughs> I think this is a good time to tell Ryan to pull over. I do too. <laughs> if he's listening to this, no, like couches, rugs. So I mean, he actually like, has she, an opinion. She, she, well, yes. she'll ask me my opinion, and I'll right. No, well, like, like what, no, Terry? Like, like he, he doesn't like the pattern. Let her have the room. He, he doesn't like you. the style. I'm gonna cut Speedy's mic off. You go right ahead. He is the one who would go to the furniture store and pick them out and go, "Hey, you need to come look at this." And so then we would make a decision. But he yeah, was the one. Yeah, I can't one. really relate to that. Yeah, I he was. Saying. I don't the even one. know where the furniture stores at. I, I don't either. <laughs> furniture gets in our house. I don't even know where it came yeah, from. Yeah, I no. thought it just appeared. <laughs> right. Yeah. So he's the one that has decorated oh, yeah. the house, basically. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Bubba, did you, I'm gonna say that one more time. Speedy's decorated the house. Yes. Uh, the other house too. Yeah. I mean, the other house before we <laughs> moved, he he did that. Like the boys' furniture, our furniture. I mean, like all of our furniture we've ever bought. Like, he's the one that has initiated, like, picking it out. Ryan Greenwood, you're welcome. So, <laughs> let, so yeah, I'm if a, you're in the Louisville area, you, we, yeah. we got a welfare check. We want you to check on somebody. Well, you know he comes from a very artistic family. That's yeah, that's does. not. I mean, when you think about, you know, his uncle, <laughs> his, dad, his dad writes poems. He's very talented. Mm-hmm. You know, he has an artistic side. I think. Yeah. That he, I think he suppressed it. A little yeah, bit. I do too. I don't think we watered it like we should have. No. And no. so you're saying it kind of comes out. Does he oh, write yeah. poems or anything for you? No. No, like he his doesn't. Dad does? No, he doesn't okay. write poems or do anything. Is he like romantic? That. He is. Ve- I will say he is so kind and so loving and so um, artistic. Artistic in the furniture department. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And how maybe, get you, and maybe get you, if the show ever goes <laughs> down, he could maybe be an interior decorator. Yes, absolutely. That's, yeah. that's how yeah. they do yes. it. And you know what he could call it? The kind and caring interior decorator. There you go. Yeah. Right. Yes. So, but but you, uh, with that's, Christmas love. That's right. With some Christmas I'm just tired of talking it. about it. I'm going to go get, get some, but, here's some choices. Hey, look. She's thankful that she has a husband. Yeah. That Terry's actually, that a guest, Speedy. That's boy. right. <laughs> we may have found, Bubba, stay with me. We may have found this could be exactly where this could be the unicorn moment. We may have just found for the first time in marriage history a woman who is living in a house decorated by her husband. <laughs> It, it, it's usually a different experience. Me. I it's, didn't decorate it's, it's, it's well, used, it's usually a what, different experience. You know, you know, Rick, we shouldn't be surprised because Speedy, by far, is, uh, until Helms got here, was the best dresser on the show. No question. He's always so been he's kind of always snappy. decorated himself very well. He has. You think that that would spill over into his house. Do you remember when he used to, I mean, it, there was nothing at the buckle he didn't have. Oh, gosh, yes. I remember that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he was a sharp dresser. That had to oh, catch yeah. your attention early. Right. Yeah, the Kango hat. And, oh, yeah. yeah the, he was stylish. He was styling and profiling, that's for sure. <laughs>
<laughs> yes. Look, what are you looking at your watch for? He's, <laughs> he's, 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 got, he, he's got five minutes. That's what I'm looking at. He's got five minutes. <laughs> oh, no. We could go all day. Yeah, we could go. <laughs> But yeah. see, we told you to be fun. Yeah, it was. Yes, yes. Hadn't this been fun? It's been fun. Yes, I was so nervous. Yeah. Was so, so, what about nervous. the the move you just talked? You guys just downsized. That's we going did. on big oh and with a lot of. Gosh, it's been like we do. We missed the big house because we had so many memories there. We built that house. And yeah. We remember we were, that. That was also on the air. Yeah. Well, that do you was remember on the that? Air. Gosh, yes, I remember that. I told the builder I wanted to punch him in the face. You know what? I do remember. I that. was nine months pregnant, yeah. and I was standing in the driveway. And I was like, Yeah. But uh, but yeah. Speedy said you would go. Was it rural Georgia? When, when Georgia Red. Georgia, Georgia Red. Red. If you go yes. Georgia Red, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Watch it. Yeah. And that's okay, not Georgia the dirt. Red. No, yeah. it's not. No. No, yeah. yeah. gosh, I know. And I've tried to suppress that. I have done really, really good. But yeah. don't mess with my husband and don't mess with my kids, and you're good. Right. So. So, yeah, now we haven't made you angry, have we? Because we no. mess with your husband sometimes mm-hmm. all in a good way. No, yeah, that's, a, that's it's funny. It's all tongue in cheek. funny. Yeah, you think that's funny. I think that's funny. So we've never that's over kinda the years. kind of like him falling. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, yes. Yeah, so you enjoy some somebody messing with Speedy, but don't be, don't come against, don't come against my Not husband. serious. Right, yes. Yeah, no, don't. And I think that's funny. If you say you're going you to get this thing done on the house, you get it done. <laughs> I, there was only one time that I went after somebody, and it was during coaching. <laughs> I thought it was during the Huskies. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was uh, early on. I, yeah. I and that was the only time I've ever really had somebody. Somebody I, had a little something to say about your husband while yeah, he's coaching. Yes, and mm-hmm. I kind of flipped that switch and yeah, yeah. So. Well, my, my my mom having you know her husband coach oh, the whole time. Gosh. She said there were times when she would just introduce my grandmother would do this if people sat around them. She would say hello. My name is Margaret Burgess. Uh, my son is the head coach of the team, and all these women are married to everybody on the staff, including this woman who's married to my husband. So if y'all gonna sit by us, know that you got a bunch of people that'll defend the coaching staff. Yeah, and I you know what? Pe- so pe- yeah, give them a heads up, and people and got like, like, "Hey, that's huge." Yeah, <laughs> and then they can pop down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I bet that was hard. Yeah, but he. Uh, how about he's done a great job as a coach? Did you enjoy watching him coach? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I, I mean, it. Yes, because he he. Just, I tell him all the time. He needs to. He needs to. If anything ever happened, he needs to get into coaching. No doubt, he is phenomenal at it. And and I know that probably sounds crazy because he was just like youth league coach, but he just has such a passion for it, and he's so knowledgeable. And I just, he really is. Just, I mean, I love watching him coach. Terry, I've said many times, if I owned the New York Yankees, yep. Speedy would be yeah. the manager. Yeah, Ain't no doubt about it. Right. Well, he'd well, be the first call, no doubt. So, how about this? This has been good. It wasn't yeah. so bad. Well, you were nervous about it. I was nervous, and and you did a super job. Yes, yeah. And uh, we hope you'll come back. Yeah. Sometime. And it's always good when you know. For us, I think it's healthy for all of us to sit here and listen to the wives mm-hmm. of the people. You know, listen to Betty talk about Bubba. Uh, listen to Sherry talk about me. Now you're talking about. Speedy, I think it's good for all of us. We we know the wives, but we don't spend as much time yeah. with the wives. So when we get a chance to really hear you, especially talk about your husband mm-hmm. as a member of, of Team Rick and Bubba, it's, uh, it, it confirms a lot of things. Yes, it yeah. does. It does. Yeah. Yes. We know you have a good husband. and we He's know amazing. You, we know your sons have a great father, and oh, yeah. uh, and we see that in him. And mm-hmm. uh, and he has a great wife. Well, and well, your boys well, have a great mama. Well, mm-hmm. well thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 are, we are blessed, that's for sure. There it is. Terry Wilburn, you did it. Uh, on this edition of Rick and Bubba University, and uh, you know, hopefully, we'll continue to try to. Maybe you can encourage some of the other wives not to yeah. be afraid. All it's that's left is 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 Lisa. How many three have been on? Two have not. Now. Yeah, we have Lisa and we, Amanda. We have and Aaron and Aaron. That's well, right. No, it's three three. I asked I asked Adler about See, that. See, I forget. I keep forgetting he's married. I love Adler because he said so straight. I said, "You think there's any shot we get Aaron on?" And he he goes, "Well." No. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe over time. We'll wear it down over time. Yes. Thanks for being with us. Thank thanks, you. Terry. Thank you for having me. Great job. Hey, and thanks to all of you for being with us on this edition of Rick and Bubba University.